Damn, he's powerful. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are reacting to Has Been Hotel, the pilot episode. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so this is how they started off this series. Someone told me to watch this um, in the comments of the last video. I never saw it. Um in the episode list so i know i'm going a bit back but hey let's check it out trippy show though but people seem to like it <laughs> and the music is cool the songs it's like a musical and the animation is pretty cool as well and is this i wonder if this is charlotte singing That's, what's her name? I think Lou. The chick who's with Adam. Who like killed like 275 demons. Uh, I wonder if that's Lilith. Because we've never seen her. Or I never saw her the last time. But this is probably just like showing all the different characters that you will meet later on damn bro just picked up a head oh it is charlotte singing welcome to the has-been hotel oh i'm alive i see so remember they had the extermination in the episode i watched so i wonder if this is going to be that i can't let it get out i'm offering my angel there was a quick cash grab a quick cash grab let me know when you come up with something creative to call me you sack of poorly packaged doors tell the missus i said hi Damn, tell the missus I said hi. Okay, so this is how we met them. Angel Dust. <laughs> drag show. Dude, it, uh, it actually started with absolute chaos. Oh, here they come. We never met this guy last time. Oh, he's a demon himself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he looks like a cobra. Like a snake with the... Oh, I think it is a snake. And everybody will know the name of Sir Edgelord. Edgelord. <laughs> what did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Oh my word, a grenade. I mean, not a grenade, but a bomb. You looking for a fight, old man? So here's some characters that we never met. You want to go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. Oh, Tom. Tom and Katie. No dick. Oh my gosh. Charlotte Morningstar. Passion project. Oh, a passion project is obviously going to be Has Been Hotel. Come on, Baggy. I know what to say. Baggy, that's her name. Like we need to Full sus. An angel. <laughs> what he called her was also funny. Sing a song about it. You knew I was going to say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. Fine. But, but I have 
these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, <laughs> it's all highlighted. Uh. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone oh, that's the rainbow song she was singing. It's that simple. Follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. She's gonna sing anyways. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. Katie Killjoy, oh my gosh. That would be a lie. And you can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have stairs. <laughs> what? My time is money. Oh my gosh, she's got no chill. We wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. Oh my word, Jeffrey Dahmer. That doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tux wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I so don't get fucking <laughs> Bro, I should have watched this, I'm guessing. It's Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Has been at all. She's gonna sing. As most of you know, I was born here in hell and we we just went through another extermination. Oh we lost so many souls. So this isn't before the extermination. Population here in hell, ladies and gentlemen. I'm opening the first of its kind a hotel that rehabilitates sinners. Okay, so that's like the whole point of it because, like, that last episode didn't say anything about what they actually do at Has Been Hotel. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it is hell, so I know. of course it's crazy. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. Oh yeah, the song comes. I have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. We can turn around. There'll be heaven and hell for just a little time down at the Happy Hotel. The Happy Hotel. So it wasn't called, called Has Been Hotel at this point. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Katie is crazy. <laughs> like the news anchor. <laughs> I want to I wonder what made a change it to has been. Maybe they were like you have to rebrand because nobody's gonna go for that. That was shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, isn't Angel the only one? Who might that be? Angel Dust. Angel Dust? The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Obviously, he would know. <laughs> A hooker. Behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Oh, someone else. So Cherry Bomb, that Edge Lord, and yeah, someone else now. Indeed, it looks like the one who just joined the battle is none. Oh, Angel. After Angel Dust, what a juicy coincidence! You Damn, this is going completely against what she tried to do. Ratings. Ratings. <laughs> Sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's why he's doing it. Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> Harder, Daddy. Oh my gosh. Fun. You whores have no class. Oh, he is a snake, I was right. Is the side with the most style. Speaking of style, is your hat like alive or something? Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> You had the top and you the bottom, bro. Oh, not like that, pervert. Pervert. <laughs> not so cocky now. Oh. Man, they made it look like a bazooka, and and it just like grabbed him. Sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, oh yeah, he's got four arms. Are you ready to finish this? Oh my gosh, Angel. What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? It wasn't that bad anyway. Oh, come on, I had to. My credibility was on the line. Your credibility? What about the hotel? Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. Oh, so basically, if you think about it, Angel is the has-been, right? Because he's the former porn star. Maybe not even former, but you know what I mean. I'm bum thinking about it. Can you please just try to take this seriously? I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexy or racist? Sexus or racist? Is you Mexican? Because he said taco. <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sexist, because of taco is crazy. Oh, so she is Mexican. Look around. Got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down. You're one to talk. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. But okay, I do kind of see it. This is just my prediction, but I think that the rebranding is going to be has been hotel. That's like going to be the end of the episode type of thing. Oh, and then she still said that she hasn't spoke to her mom in seven years. And as you must be busy, I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, mom. But I think we did see. Did we not like we did hear a little bit from Lucifer, right? Stop talking before this gets long. Rhythmic knocking. Subtitles are. Still terrible. Oh, it's him. Hey, Baggy. What was his name now? Oh, right. What? What, what was his name again? Well, don't let him in. Oh, so interesting. You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Oh, yes, Alistair. On the picture show. I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. So many orphans. Wow. God, I know you're guilty. If I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Damn. But he is like everything I've seen from him. He seems like a powerful, you know. That's why they don't trust him. Um, you want to help with... This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel. I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane. Lacking focus. So, does this mean that you think it's possible <laughs> to rehabilitate a demon? Uh, of course not. That's wacky nonsense. 
redemption. Oh, the non-existent humanity. No, 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 no. So then why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider it an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment. Only to repeatedly... That's kind of like... What he's basically saying is like, you know, like any reality TV show, right? Like Biggest Loser or Idols or America's Got Talent. You know, it's like people trying to become the best in a way. So that's why he's saying it's like, um, it's just entertainment. I'm not into politics. Manifested in hell seemingly overnight you began to topple over oh wow for centuries so this is his backstory power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased you're done you're done <laughs> <laughs> like a strawberry pen <laughs> Okay, so wow, he's actually like a powerful being. Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. But I mean, obviously, because I watched the next episode, I know that and is most likely looking for he's everything we're trying to do. He actually does end up staying. I know that. Look, I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change but the whole point of this is to give people a chance charlie whatever you do do not make a deal with him okay so <coughs> now you're sketchy as fuck and you <laughs> sketchy as fuck here as a joke i think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better so i'm taking your offer to help so it's a deal then damn <laughs> no shaking, no deals. <laughs> As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel. Smile, my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> you never fully dressed without a smile. So where is your hotel staff? Oh. oh you're going to need more. So the bartender, I forgot his name. You, my um. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Dude. Angel has no chill. Oh, so he actually fixed it up. Oh, I wonder if this is that other chick. Oh, it is her. Nifty. Who like froze on the camera every time she was like, action. <laughs> okay, so now I get it. We actually met all the characters in this episode. Hell? What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you can Husker. You Husker me, you son of a bitch. I was about to win the whole damn But isn't this a different voice actor? The other one's Keith David, right? charity work so i took it upon myself to volunteer your services are you shitting me hmm. interesting i ain't doing no fucking charity job well i figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment your charming smile and welcoming energy this job was made for you don't worry my friend i can make this more welcoming if you wish cheap booze <laughs> I wanted to say it's been a while since they actually did a song because I mean in the episode I watched it was like three different songs 
Charming Demon Bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. I'm sure this is when he'll call it has been hotel. They'll spend a little time down at this has been Oh man, I was right. Oh, he's back, Edgelord. Harboring the striped freak. Wait, what? A kraken. And all the eggs getting. Oh my gosh. Damn, he's powerful. Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? Let's <laughs> want some jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. And he'll obviously change it. Boom. Stay tuned. Interesting. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense now. You know, meeting all the characters and things like that. Because, like, that was kind of the one thing that I sort of didn't understand when I watched the first episode was that it was just all these people. Like, there was all these characters that, that they were showing. And I was like, okay, there's a lot happening. But now I see this is why. And thanks to the person who told me to watch this episode. Because this obviously gives the context of the show. Like, okay, she's making this hotel. She called it the Happy Hotel. So that she can rehabilitate demons, lost souls. And so that, I mean, that sets up the whole show. Now it's like, okay, that's the premise. That's what they're trying to do here actually being able to meet angel and like his role in it why he's there in the first place right and then alistair being crazy powerful as he is nifty and i did notice like it is keith david the voice the voice actor changed because i think this came out in 2019 if i'm not mistaken but yeah um very interesting um yeah funny as always there were some jokes in there that like that was really funny that um katie killjoy is hilarious but <laughs> that's gonna be it for me if you like the video smash the like button subscribe if you want to watch me watch more of this um i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit